week 13 of the fantasy baseball season and he has a few pitches I look to drop this week the first guy Domingo Herman of the New York Yankees so Herman he was pitching great in the early going of the season then he got suspended for a foreign sus- substance on his hand and now he hasn't been the same ever since pretty much on the year 72 and a third four and five record 69 k's a 5.10 era a 1.18 whip and four quality starts in the season in the last two weeks he uh He's been batting practice and he's been getting rocked five and a third in the time. 0-2 record, 5Ks, a 25.31 ERA, 3.56 whips. So right now, Herman's got no command. Like I said, he's been batting practice over the last few weeks. And he's hurting fantasy owners and obviously the New York Yankees in that time. So the last few games here for Herman, June 10th versus the Red Sox. He pitched well, six innings, got the win. Six hits, a run, two walks, 5Ks, a quality start. June 16th at the Red Sox a second time. Two winnings and that one got the loss. Seven hits, seven runs, two walks a K. And then June 22nd versus the Marinders. Three and a third and that one got the loss. Eight hits, eight runs, two walks, four K. So he got lit up in those two ball games. I know tomorrow night he's got a good matchup coming up at the Oakland Athletics. But he's still a pitcher I can't trust this amount. If you want to give him one more shot, that's fine. But versus mediocre hitting teams like Boston and Seattle, they just wrecked him in those ball games. So right now, well, he's not producing over the last few weeks and definitely whatever he got caught cheating with gave him an edge and now it hasn't. Well, he's the most likely checking him every inning is Herman. He's a pitcher I would drop this week because obviously the band substance is what helped the first few months of the season. The next pitch is Jack Flaherty of the St. Louis Cardinals. So Flaherty, it's been an up and down season, but for the most part, it's been a down and now he's banged up where he had to get scratched with a hip injury on Sunday. So right here on the season, 80 innings, four and five record, 80 Ks, 4.95 ERA, a 1.60 whip and four quality starts. But the last couple weeks here, he's another guy that's been batting practice, 10 and two thirds, one and one record, eight Ks, a 10.13 ERA, 2.25 whips. So right now Flaherty's going out there and he's not getting the job done for the Cardinals and fantasy owners. And right now I would cut ties with Flaherty most likely. And the hip injury on top of it, is definitely a big concern even though right now he's day to day but if he's not going to start in the next few days here he's even more droppable i believe june 7th at texas he pitched a good one six innings in that one no decision three hits no runs five walks eight k's a quality start june 13th versus the giants four and a third got the loss 10 hits six runs three walks three k's in that one and june 19th at the nats in that one six in the third got the win 10 hits, 6 runs, a walk, 5K. So right now, he's not going out there. And he's not getting the job done right now as Flaherty. He's getting hit hard. Teams, they draw him in walks early in ball games, working up that pitch count. And like I said, he's just not going to be 100% as well. There's no need for Onis to hold on to him. And this Cardinal team as a whole, one of the worst team ERAs in the league at the starting pitching position. So right now, I would drop Flaherty this week. The next pitch is his teammate. Ryan Helsley of the St. Louis Cardinals. So Helsley, I know he's on the injured list. And if you've listened to the channel for a while now, he closes to a high regard. And now with this forearm injury and reports coming up, he's not close to returning. And Jordan Hicks pitching well in the closer position. There's no reason for fantasy owners to hold on to Helsley, in my opinion. And right now, he's still owned in tons of fantasy leagues in 83%. And on the season, the numbers are mediocre. Anyway, 25 innings, 3-4 and four record, 7 saves. 33 strikeouts, a 3.24 ERA, a 1.16 whip. So right now, Helsley, he wasn't pitching as great or as dominant as he was last season where he was 9-1 with 94 strikeouts and 64 and two-thirds with a 1.25 ERA and an 0.74 whip. So right now, Helsley, he's banged up. And this Cardinal team, they're out of contention right now. 10 games out of the wild card. So Helsley, they might even hold them out for the whole season if it's getting late early towards the drip trade deadline next month. So right now with all those factors and Jordan Hicks pitching well as the closer for this Cardinal team, there's no reason I would hold on to Helsley and I would drop him this week. And next pitch is Patrick Sandoval of the Los Angeles Angels. So Sandoval, he was on the list a few weeks ago. And right now he's still owned the 47% of leagues, but on the year, he hasn't really done much for fantasy owners. 75 and two thirds, four and six record, 57 Ks. 4.16 ERA, a 1.47 whip, and five quality starts. So right now he pitches to a lot of contact to Sandoval. 
He's not even close to averaging a strikeout per inning. And he's only a five inning pitcher at best right now for this Angel team. And to go deeper into the stats in the last month, 26 and a third, one in three record, 23 Ks, a 5.47 ERA, a 1.90 whip and two quality starts. So right now the saving grace for Sandoval over the last few weeks was a good outing versus a weak Kansas City Royal offense, which obviously we know they're one of the worst teams in the league. But besides that, he really hasn't done much in the last two months to Sandoval. June 10th versus Seattle, five innings got the loss. 10 hits, five runs, eight Ks. June 16th at the Royals, like I mentioned, he pitched a gem. Seven innings got the win. Four hits, no runs, four walks, six Ks, a quality start. And then June 23rd at the Rockies, he only went five innings, no decision. He got hit pretty good in that one. 10 hits, giving up three runs, a walk, three K. So like I said, he's a contact pitcher, Sandoval. Not even close to getting a strikeout per inning. And like I said, he's only got two quality starts now since May 14th at Sandoval. So that's not getting the job done. I know he's got a good offense over there in Los Angeles backing him up. But that's not enough for, for me to hold on to him in 10 and 12 team weeks. So right now, well, he's pretty much only pitched well versus a weak hitting team like the Royals and hasn't shown anything else. He's a pitcher I would drop this week. And the fifth and final pitcher I look to drop this week here is AJ Smith Schoiber of the Atlanta Braves. So Smith Schoiber, there, he was a surprising call up this season as the 20 year old. And I thought that we're going to catch lightning in a bottle with him was this Atlanta Brave team like they did with Strider last year. But I'm a year for AJ Smith Schoiber. I don't think he was horrible. But obviously the numbers weren't eye-popping, 16 and two-thirds, 1-0 record, 15 days, a 4.32 ERA, a 1.14 whip on the season. So right now, he's had a few starts on me as well. They sent them back to the minor leagues. Is this single lane of Brave team? But it's definitely a possibility we could see Smith Schoiber back in the rotation sooner than later. But right now, he's going to the minor leagues. Michael Soroka is going to come back to the major leagues. And I don't think, like I said, his numbers were amazing with Smith Choice to obviously stash him on your roster. So right now, lead draft leagues, he's a pitcher I would drop this week in the last few outings for him, June 9th versus the Nats. Five in the third in that one, no decision. Three hits, no runs, two walks, two Ks. June 15th versus the Rockies, pitched well. Five and two thirds, got the win. Three hits, a run, six Ks. And then June 23rd at the Reds, three in the third in that ball game. No decision, four hits, five runs, two walks, four K. So right now, he didn't get great as Smith Scherzer the last two out of three outings. Walking a lot of guys, high pitch counts early in the ball game. And he's only 20 years old, so I think he'll go back down to the minor leagues in AAA where he never pitched pretty much as Smith Scherzer and get it going over there. So that's a few pitches I look to drop in week 13 of the fantasy baseball season.